Okay. Information is a drug. The news about a tropical island billionaire pedophile who maybe eats people is basically crystal meth. Your brain receptors are fully dilated. That's a powerful drug. Anyone suggesting that maybe this isn't real is a threat to your supply. It's taking away something that feeds you chemically. You can't help it. It's not that you're attracted to horror. It's that when you hear horror and you believe it's real, you're attracted to it stopping. It pulls you in. It sucks you into this box. Some would call it a cube. Every person in America who wants to believe that Trump is a Christian and that he's been somehow ordained through Jesus to, to save this mess is having a seriously strange conversation in their head right now. They're basically saying, I don't even know how to get into it. They're basically saying, so what's a little exorcism between friends? All of Trump's children have converted to Judaism, which is, is fine. It's to me, they're all Abrahamic anyway. They're, it's, it's under the same tree. I, I don't actually, you'll find out how, how I feel about all three of them. They're, they're all, they're all intertwined. So I'm not here to say one's better than the other. I'm just here to talk about the people that are pretending that this is somehow some sort of biblical Jesus thing. All of his children converted. When, when you convert from Christianity to Judaism, you have to exercise Jesus from your heart. You are expunging the Holy Spirit. Again, freedom of religion. People should, I, I'm more of like a, a spiritual guy. I, I get accused of being like into witchcraft just the other day because I talked about putting a piece of silver on your tongue and activating the colloidal acid. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter to me what you, what you want to believe. But but it sucks that you're dragging us into the pit pretending like this is some sort of Jesus thing. It, the, the, the fact that he owned, that Kushner owned 666 Fifth Avenue, paid $1.8 billion for it, the most expensive purchase ever made, bought from a property owned by Vanderbilt and then Rockefeller. Same company as Black Cube, the same company as Black Rock Group, the same the exact same <laughs> fingers of the machine. Uh, and his father was in jail for two years for blackmail with a sex tape and a prostitute. This, this is not, the, all I want you to get is this is not a biblical thing. <laughs> that's, that's not, it, it, sadly, it actually is biblical, but, but you have to understand what the Bible really is to really see what's going on, it, like long-term. There's a long-term thing that's happening here. It's, Gaddafi built the largest freshwater dam project in known civilization. We, we killed that guy. We're, I'm not here to shame you. I'm just here to say that, that what we think is the good guys is not really the, the, the good guys. And this has been happening a long time. This is like a, a long stretch of history here. 
It goes back to World War One. It stretches through every single war. We still believe that maybe somehow during Operation Paperclip, some bad Nazis came over here. They were able to infiltrate. But it, the fact that Operation Paperclip existed shows you that these same people were already here. They were already here. They're the ones that filled out the papers. They're the ones that said, let's do Operation Paperclip. It's, we're in like really big denial about the NWO. We believe that it's like an outside entity that's over there, but we're, we're still here because we're, we're land free, right? Red, white, and blue. America. America's a beautiful name. Land is beautiful. I, I love that we're connected to the land. I, I, I want to us to connect to the land more. But think about it. What would the NWO look like? It would probably push a globally enforced currency like the petrodollar. Probably enforce that with missiles and war. It'd probably destroy any nation that didn't have a central bank. Keep in mind, this, this sounds familiar, right? They probably have the highest incarceration rate out of any other nation. They probably have like three letter agencies that were responsible for mo more drug trafficking than all, than all the local gangs domestically of drug trade. They probably, the same NWO group, they probably want to surveil everyone. They probably want 5G. They probably want 6G. They want the NDAA. They want to background check everything. They want your blind trust, but complete control over social media, your freedom of speech. They want everybody to get their shots. They keep quiet about JFK and 9-11. They want you to see them as a global hero, as a, uh, a bastion of some great virtue, like, like freedom. They own all the media, they own all of Hollywood. They would look exactly like America looks now, doing exactly the things that America is doing now. It's, it's crazy how deep of the trance we go into. We're fed chemically that this is the land of the free, that we're the good guys. Anyone that challenges that chemical is a threat to your supply. We the people will beg for the NWO. Most of us already are. They're, most of us are begging right now. They feel intertwining with another country is the answer to more freedom. When this happens, it'll sound, it'll sound nice. Everyone's going to beg for the NWO. It'll sound something like, to fight the plague of human trafficking around the world, America, with its allies, will take on a new role. We must protect our children. We must fight this evil, as we were called to do in World War II. It'll sound like that. It'll be aligned with fighting Nazism which is yesterday's racism and tomorrow's white supremacy. All of these filters are already in place and we're happy for them. When I say we, I'm talking about the majority. We have to decentralize. It would be so awesome. Under sovereignty, each state, could maintain their own Google search service. It'd be like a voluntary form of government. Imagine if each state had their own Google with their own Wayback Machine. Isn't that what a public library is supposed to do? So why, why is the library not doing that? Why, why is there not a candidate that's like, hey, I have an idea. <laughs> Let's start a, uh, 
a, a new kind of, of public information service. Let's, let's guarantee that that service is going to have free speech for anyone involved. Let's make that the bastion for the Bill of Rights. Then we, can, then we can say, yeah, that's just a private company because there's a public service that's doing it right here. These are the ideas of voluntary, unanimous government. It's all doable, but we're not going to get it under the system we have now. No, one, no one's going to get elected with the idea I just told you about. It, it would be insane to even run. I've, I've, I've seen this work. You're not going to be able to push decentralization inside a centralized machine. Countries aren't, aren't what we think they are. It, we think it's all in D.C., but no. Most of this is more about, you see more of the body of the, of the Leviathan in media. We don't understand that media really is the government. It controls all our thoughts as far as all the information that comes in. You can't escape it unless you're going to be a hermit in the woods. I hear I am talking about it now. Changing the subject is, is impossible when it's something as juicy as tropical island billionaire pedophiles and someone trying to catch them. It's just going to keep sucking us further in. Meanwhile, countries are being overthrown in Las Vegas from a hotel room. Even good dissonance, like dissonance that feels good, is dissonance. And that's, that's where a lot of responsibility lies on us. We have to divest from this stuff.